Hi, welcome back to my channel. Well, did you recognize anything with me? What did you say? These glasses isn't mine? Actually, you're right. I'm just trying how to use these criminal tracking glasses. Are you a criminal? No? Good! This glasses is owned by Conan Edugawa. He is our guest for today. We'll talk about him later. First, I would like to shout out to Edgar Tayoto, Elijah Sildo, Jaira Soteco, Andrea Dampitan, Shakespeare Gaming, and Jasper Kielmaglake for your good and encouraging feedbacks in my videos. Your comments are important to me. For our other viewers out there, if you also want to give feedback about our videos or you just want me to shout out your name in my next video, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. Again, your comments are important to me. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. Well, in our previous lesson, we learned about proper pronunciation of words. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. I also include to that video an automated high frequency sight words where all you need to do is listen to how the word is properly pronounced, then you read the word. As easy as that! So I encourage you to watch that video if you still haven't seen it yet. Anyway, before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel, share this video to your friends, share the happiness. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one. Spell the word deem. Deem means regard or consider in a specified way. Just like our example here, the mutants deem that the answer to end their long suffering is to not hide anymore. Spelling number two. Spell the word crowd. Crowd means a large number of people gathered together, typically in a disorganized or unruly way. Our example here are the audience who are watching it bulaga. They are a huge crowd. They are all enjoying watching the Philippines' longest-running noontime show. Three spell the word deity. A deity means a god or a goddess. Example is Aphrodite. She is also known as Venus, who is the deity of beauty of ancient Greece. Spelling number four, spell the word petit. Petit means small little or small bone. Our example here are the top 10 petite anime girls list made by Yata Misaki posted on aminoapps.com. According to him, the top 1 petite anime girl is Ilya Vil von Einsburn from the anime series Fate. And then finally number 5 spell fatigue. Fatigue means extreme tiredness. Here are our examples. All of them are feeling sleepy due to their fatigue from work. Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking. Then, let's move on. Now, let's talk about our guest Conan Edogawa. Conan is the child version of Shinichi Kudo 
and Shinichi is Ran Mori's boyfriend. Ran is the daughter of Kogoro Mori, who's a detective and took care of Conan when Ran brought him home one day. Conan helps Kogoro Mori in solving crimes by showing him in front of the people as he conceals himself. He does it like this. First, Conan uses his stun gun wristwatch on Mori then let him sit on a chair. Everybody thought that Mori is awake just closes his eyes during the investigation. But the truth is, he dozes on the chair. What's really happening is, Conan is the one who is speaking using his voice changing bow tie and people hear it like Mori is the one who is talking because of the button speaker that Conan put on him. Now, let's study the sentences we use as we talk about Conan earlier. In the sentence, Conan helps Kogoro Mori in solving crimes by showing him in front of the people as he conceals himself. Our unfamiliar word here is the word conceal. In order for us to understand the meaning of this without using a dictionary, we can look for some clues in the context. Context clues! Again! Yes! We studied context clues in our lesson number 5, but that lesson only tackles on how to determine the meaning of compound words in a sentence using context clues. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. Now, let us continue with our discussion. What are we going to do to determine the meaning of the word conceal in this sentence? What we need to do here is to study the sentence and look if there's any synonym or antonym of the word conceal in the sentence. In order for us to figure out if an unfamiliar word is a synonym or an antonym of a familiar word in the sentence, we can look for context clues that restate ideas or depicts opposite situations. In this sentence, the words showing him in front of the people describes that Conan hides himself as he shows Kogoro Mori in front of the people. So this means that the word conceal is an antonym of the word show and that conceal simply means to be kept from sight or to hide. Wait, wait, wait! Synonyms? Antonyms? Yes, yes, yes! We already discussed synonyms and antonyms in our lesson number 4. If you fail to watch our video about it, I also put its link in the description box below. What we're discussing today is about how we can determine the meaning of an unfamiliar word using synonyms and antonyms as our context clues. Anyway, let's proceed with our discussion. In our second sentence, everybody thought that Morris awake just closes his eyes during the investigation, but the truth is, he doses on the chair. Our unfamiliar word here is the word doze. This time, we can look for signal words such as but or however, which signifies that an unfamiliar word means the opposite of another word in the sentence. And the signal word that we have here is the word but which helps us to realize that the clue that we are looking for is the antonym for the word those. In that case, the words everybody thought that more is awake tells us that the antonym of those is the word awake. Therefore, we now know that those simply means a short, light sleep. Let's have another example. In this sentence, when you interpret an image, you actively question and examine what the image connotes and suggests. Take note that sometimes a text gives a synonym of the unknown word to signal the meaning of the unfamiliar word. So in this sentence, the word suggest is a synonym of the word connotes. How did I come up with that? Because of the word end. End sometimes signals synonyms. For a final example, let's have these two sentences. The runner sped up and began a final dash for the finish line. Many runners slowed, but the winner ran at a fast pace. Another way to identify the meaning of an unfamiliar word using synonyms and antonyms is reading the text very carefully. I can understand what the word dash means by reading the sentences around it. The first sentence says the runner sped up, so I can tell that dash must be a synonym for race or sprint. When I read that many runners slowed, but the winner ran at a fast pace, I know that the word but signals for the opposite meaning. Here, fast pace means the opposite of slow. Remember, in order to understand the meaning of unfamiliar word given in a sentence, read the sentence very carefully and look for context clues that restate ideas or depict opposite situations. 
you may also look for signal words to help you assess whether the clue given in the sentence is a synonym or antonym of the unfamiliar word. Note that the word and sometimes signals synonyms, and the words like but or however signals for antonyms. Now, let's have an activity. I'm going to read the sentence to you, then you're going to choose the context clue that helps define the underlying word in the sentence. 1. Lucinda is very adroit on the balance beam, but Constance is rather clumsy. Our unfamiliar word here is the word adroit. If your answer is clumsy, then you are correct. Adroit means clever or skillful. Clumsy is the antonym of the word adroit. 2. Lance's comments about politics were irrelevant and meaningless to the botanist lecture on plant reproduction. Our unfamiliar word here is the word irrelevant. If your answer is meaningless, then you are correct. Irrelevant means not connected with or relevant to something. Meaningless is a synonym to the word irrelevant. 3. His rancor or hatred for socializing resulted in a life of loneliness and boredom. Our unfamiliar word here is the word rancor. If you say that the context clue in this sentence is hatred, then you are correct. Rancor means bitterness or resentfulness. Hatred is a synonym to the word rancor. 4. Martin was mortified, way beyond embarrassment, when his friends team up to show him into the pool. Our unfamiliar word here is the word mortified. If your answer is embarrassment, then you are correct. Mortified means cause someone to feel embarrassed, ashamed, or humiliated. Embarrassment is a synonym to the word mortified. And then finally, number five. The philosophy teacher presents the students with several conundrums or riddles to solve. Our unfamiliar word here is the word conundrums. If you said the context clue in this sentence is riddles, then you are correct! Conundrum is a question asked for amusement typically one with a pun in its answer, just like a riddle. Riddles is a synonym to the word conundrums. Now, let's see if you really learned from our today's lesson. Let's have a sit work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so I'll give you 2-3 to three minutes to do this. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video as you answer the questions. For your today's seat work, you're going to read the sentence very carefully. Then write the context clue that gives the meaning of the underlined word.
what's up? Let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seabird. Here are the definition of the underlined words for additional information. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know how to look for the meaning of an unfamiliar word using synonyms and antonyms as context clues. Please comment down below the score that you've got in our secret. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children to be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!